check out those clouds. It's 79 degrees today, and it's going to be a thunderstorm pretty soon. Welcome, everybody. My name is Michael, and today we're discussing about Bitcoin touching $34,000. It hasn't touched $34,000 in a very long time. Right now, $114 million has been liquidated through shorts. Follow me. Let's go through the details. So essentially, $114 million within a single hour was liquidated for the entire day. $145 million in Bitcoin short liquidations led to this sudden pump. So as always, whenever there's a pump, there's discrepancies in pricing. Each exchange will have their own prices on Coinbase. Bitcoin actually touched $35,000. Hey, arbitrage. So most of this was related to the Bitcoin spot ETF rumors. And with BlackRock involved, by the way, they got a $2.5 million fine by the SEC. That shot a lot of FOMO into the air. People didn't want to miss out. Money was moving. So a Washington, D.C. judge ordered the SEC to take a look at Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF. So they failed to respond to an earlier court inquiry. And this was after a long litigation process. Obviously, Grayscale wants their Bitcoin ETF to be approved. Anytime there's rumors of a Bitcoin ETF going to be approved, people go crazy because we still don't have one. BlackRock also took preliminary steps to ensure that potentially they might have a Bitcoin ETF. They just need to file everything with the SEC. The resistance was between thirty-one dollars and $34,000. By piercing through that, that means that we are in a new zone there is a new plateau. There's a potential for a really, really amazing price rally here. Who knows, maybe 40K is just around the corner. So the SEC has fined BlackRock $2.5 million for failing to accurately describe investments in the entertainment industry. Now, this was not related to Bitcoin ETF. So as the world waits for the Bitcoin ETF news from the SEC from BlackRock, this was in relation to a 2015 investment ranging 2015 to 2019 uh, in a multi-sector income trust, uh, there was investments made in the film company Aviron or a AV Iron Group LLC. BlackRock said it was a diversified financial analysis company. It simply wasn't true. And Coinbase has submitted their final argument to also dismiss the SEC lawsuit. So there's a lot of very bullish news in the news right now. In total, the market cap has gone up to $1.26 trillion, up from $1.15, and up from earlier in the week just a little over one trillion dollars so over 200 million dollars has moved positively across all the altcoins and ethereum right now is at 1800 some other altcoins have also experienced a pump okay so there's another aspect to this 170 days and 22 hours till the next bitcoin having april 13th 24 that's when it's supposed to be here every time there's a bitcoin having usually around there probably a couple of months afterwards we see massive growth and before, there could be a lot of hype as well. Right now, we are finally getting into the stages where we might be able to see Bitcoin go above 40, 50. We'd love to be able to see it, you know, bounce past $70,000 and never hit 70,000. It was 69 and a half, I believe. Guys, this could be it. Next year, we might be able to peak. And usually there's a lot of interest right around this time of year because it's October going into November. We got the holidays, which by the way, happy Halloween pretty soon. Uh, we got Thanksgiving, we got a lot of people willing to spend and potentially invest. Now, with that, that's pretty much today's news. We're at 34000 right now for Bitcoin still. Very exciting. We're finally in a little bit of a better trance, but we might fall down just because there's a lot of people who are waiting to sell. And potentially, as soon as they log in tonight, they're going to be like, oh, it's time to sell. I made some profits back or... I, I made back some of what I lost. With that said, just want to thank you for watching tonight's video. Have a good night. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. But I also made a new channel. Link below. AI, artificial intelligence, has taken over the world. It's here, everywhere. So please help me on that journey. You have a good one. Check that out. Buy Bitcoin here. And there's a nice Bitcoin ATM.